Hi everybody. I'm here to make just a little um, Zentangle inspired art video. I want to make it clear to everybody who watches my Zentangle style art videos, they're ZIAs actually. I want to make it clear that I'm not a certified Zentangle instructor, but I do watch quite a few instructors who are um, certified and that's where I learn from and so this is like you're getting it um, second hand second hand and so um, today I'm going to show you how I've learned to make what is called the easy it's called spelled easy e and I watched Melinda Barlow Melinda Barlow is the one that I watched do this. She learned it from Emiko Kaneko. And um, although she said Emiko a different way, and um, but I have a niece named Emiko. We call her Emmy, but her name is Emiko. And so that's how I know how it's pronounced. <laughs> and so I'm not saying I'm any better than her, but um, it just when I very rarely hear that name, Emiko. And... Um, and that's my niece's name. And she, my niece has a Japanese mother. Her mother is, is Japanese. And so that's, she, she gave her daughter that Japanese name. And so, and, and so it's kind of fun to just see the name somewhere else besides with my niece. So that is cool. So Emiko Kaneko is, is who, designed this one that's called easy and so I'm going to show you now what I learned and so I'll put you down to the showroom floor um, I have my camera a different way now so it's going to show my hands coming from behind instead of from in front but um and for those of you who have been watching my quilting videos I've been doing them on my on my cell phone on my phone and then I started doing another one and it says I don't have enough storage to do another one and so I deleted a whole bunch of stuff thinking that okay um, if I delete all this stuff then I'll have storage but what it did is it went to the trash to the trash can recycle bin and um, then I tried to get again and it still said I didn't have enough storage and so then I um, went to go empty my recycle bin and it says I don't there's nothing in it so I don't know where all that stuff went that I deleted and because it still says I don't have enough storage to be able to make another video and so then I'm digging around and digging around and I saw that on Google I could for a dollar and ninety nine cents a month, I could get buy more something space or bytes or something, and so I said, oh, "Okay, I can do that." It's just dollar ninety nine, so I did that, and so for dollar ninety nine a month, now they've got me in there. Get for dollar ninety nine a month, and then I tried it again, and still it isn't giving me, it tells me I don't have enough space. So I'm gonna to have to play with my phone a little bit until I can figure out how I can actually do another video. Okay, so I'm gonna put you down to the showroom floor now and I gotta ask my hubster what he needs. What do you, do what? Okay, all right. I love you too. Thank you. He lets me know every time he makes a move. And so he's going out to the outside for a minute. So here's where I wrote down Easy E by Emiko Kinoko. And it's taught by Melinda Barlow. I love to watch Melinda Barlow. She is so soft spoken and she takes her time and she explains things so nicely. And so I really like that. Now this is the um, this is the finished this is the finished picture the one that I did and so yours might not turn out just like this but 
I think it's beautiful and I think this would make a very beautiful tangle like on the corner of a greeting card. I think that would be beautiful. Okay, you're going to see me do it upside down because my camera's upside down. Okay, so now what we first do, how she showed us, let me see if I can get my camera just a little bit closer. I have to move the whole camera here because I don't have a zoomer. There we go. Okay. Now this is how she showed us. She started down on the bottom corner. And so you can start anywhere. But just for, for now, we're going to go and make, like she said, a little sad face. Okay, so that's the first thing you do is make that little sad face right there. Then you go from from the right side of the sad face and you make you make here you're going to make a curly uh like a like a bump and then a bump and come out okay a bump and then a bump and come out like this way and then you're going to come back to where you started Okay, and then you put two like little leaf stems there and a little circle right there in the center. See how that is? And then we're going to continue on and make more. And you can make them, you can make them from wherever you want to make them. So we can put the little sad face here and then you make the little scallop scallop and turn it out and then come around to back to where you started and put a couple of little veins in there or you can put three veins and put that little circle now you can just keep adding these wherever you want to add them just start with the little sad face oops now I'm gonna be behind so this is gonna go like this and then like this and then like this oops I crossed over there but that's okay it went just like that it looks like it's tucked in behind and the top of that leaf just turned itself around I didn't intentionally do that okay and so then we're gonna go like here and see, now I started this one, it's a little bit below. So now I'm going to go with my scallop, scallop and out. And oh, it went in there. Little circle there. And a couple of little leaf veins in there. And, and then you can just now fill up your whatever you want to do. What the, however you want to do this, you can, you can do them. Oops, I went backwards on that one. Okay, so this one's going to look different. Because I went backwards. So I make that one look different. And, um, then let's go here one. And then see it, I was going instead of making the inside, I inverted it is what I did over here. But that's going to not make any difference at all. It's not going to make any difference at all. Maybe it will make a little difference. Now I'm going to go this one here and I'm going to do my scallop on this side. Bump out bump out swoop and come back down and give it two okay so let's get the sad face and then we're gonna go the hump hump and scoot and like this and so I have some going one way and some going another way And 
Let's see. She did one like this, and she goes, oh, that looks like a butterfly. I think she went like this. And then that does sort of look like a butterfly. It does sort of look like a butterfly right there. You know, I bet we could draw butterflies like yeah. that. Okay, and then what she did is she made, I don't know if these little berries are exactly supposed to be part of the, um, about the, I don't know if that there is to be the easy thing. I think that she put them in as an extra, but I do love that little extra. And so, you know what I think? I want to go up here with another one of the easies. I think I want it going this way. And then I think I want one right here. And so, yes, you can just go into any, any direction with those. So now I got sort of like a corner done and so now what I want to do is I want to make my little um, um, Melinda called it a she said it kind of looked like a raspberry and it does kind of look like a raspberry but then she called it something else and I can't remember um, that's part of the reason why I could never be a certified Zentangle instructor, because I can't remember the names of the of the little tangles. I can't remember them. Then maybe I'll want one here. Um, she did Bronx Cheer. That's what she called this. She called this the Bronx Cheer. And I am just not able to remember all of those names. But nonetheless, I have fun. I'm going to put one up here, too. And um, although they look like raspberries or blackberries or some kind of berries. And then we'll just make a stem. And tuck that stem in. And I use the Hollyba effect of the stem so it kind of goes behind that leaf. And this one is right there. Okay. But then I'm going to give... Let's see. I want some little leaves to come from the berries. Because usually when you... Um, you know, underneath the berry, where the berry is actually attached to the stem, there's usually a little bit of green there. And so that's what I'm putting on there, just to give it a little bit of green on there. Okay, so, and then, you know, I'm going to just put a couple of little thorns, too. Because ba most berries do have little thorns on their stems. So I'll give it just a few little thorns to make a little reality. And then... You see how I colored green in. I didn't color the whole leaf in. I only colored in parts of the leaf. And, and so, and this was my very first one. So this one should be better, but it's probably not. Okay, so I'm going to go and put in, like, where, where I put the, um, stems and then a little bit on the corners 
because you you pretty much have three corners on each one of the the leaves of the easy and so I'm just going in with my green colored pencil and um, you can use anything green in fact she used a green um, pen she used a green micron pen when she drew her leaves and that would be good too if you have a green micron pen or if you have a green um, sharpie you know to go ahead and draw it with that if you want to because then you got the color already in that in, in that and then she says what's her name Melinda Barlow she has got a store too and she says that in her store she carries those colored microns Melinda Barlow so I'll pass that information along just in case you all are interested in that. But you can use anything you know to color. Whatever you have. You can use whatever you have to draw. You can use whatever you have to, um, to, to color. Now I'm going with another little bit of a green, a lighter green, and I'm just kind of, kind of um, going in and blending it right with the darker green. And that kind of, it just, to me, it gives it a more natural look, maybe. Something like that. You have to excuse me. I've had a little bit of a sore throat for the last couple of days. It feels like my voice is just not correct. I don't feel sick or anything like that. It's just that throat thing going on. It might just be because of the weather is changing and getting a little bit cooler. Okay, so then once I've got these, and I've put the two different colors, then I'm going to take my blending stump, and I'm going to blend. And the blending stump will blend those two greens together and it gives it that um that look that i can't think of the word for now um yeah i can't think of that word so but i think this is real 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 pretty i really do think this would be very pretty on a greeting card or on a piece of stationery, it would be real pretty. And it's just called easy, E-Z-E, -E, just like, and it's easy, just like the word says. And I like how this one right here looks like a little bit like a um, butterfly. And I think that I might try to do a butterfly just like that. I think that'd be very pretty. And put a little green in these little stems that comes under the berry. And in the stem. Okay. And then this stem. And like even Melinda said, she said she likes to do um, odd numbers if you're doing a blossom or anything, an odd number, three or five, you know, seven, always an odd number. And I have seen where that does look, it does make the whole thing look a little bit better. And it looks more balanced, I think, when you have that way. And so then I will color in. And what I'm calling this is Zentangle Style Art. Um, Zentangle Inspired Art. That's what we call this. 
it's not I am not certified so I'm not real sure if I can even call it Zentangle it beings I'm not certified but I watch certified instructors on the videos and I try to do like they do and so see there how pretty now if you want to give it a little bit of let me see what I'll do here I'm going to take this blue this one and I'm going to go oh you know I didn't give that any of those little I like to give these a little bit of a you know them little tendrils off of the um, actual berries it's them tendrils are pretty I think My daughter made it to Alabama. They went and spent the first day of their trip at Savannah, Georgia. And they had a blast up there. A lot of the things were not open. A lot of the historical things were not open due to the fact of the coronavirus. But... Um, she said everybody was staying there, social distancing, and they learned a lot. They learned a lot being in Savannah. There's so many things to learn. So now I'm doing some just hatch work, just cross hatching. It's sort of like doing a... Um, like a checker no tic-tac-toe kind of sort of and this kind of gives it a little bit of a a fun little so it's not just stark white and I've seen a lot of people do their zentangles on like a um oh, I gotta turn this around so you can see there's Papa and that's me. That was given to me by Bonnie. She made this for us. Or had it made for us. It says, Lizzie and Hobby with love from Bonnie. It's a mouse pad. I am very blessed to have that. And this picture is memorable because... I was in front of the Hobby Lobby. See here, you can see it's his lobby up here. Because we were in front of the Hobby Lobby. And I had met my friend. Uh, that's when I had first met my friend Andy. And was in front of the Hobby Lobby. And I just fell in love with her right away. Such a sweet lady. And she's the one that took this picture. So now I'm going to take now I'm going to take a lighter blue now very light I want a very light blue and um, let me see okay this one's almost like a lavender but this will work let's see yeah and then I'm just going to kind of scribble a little bit and I'm doing I'm coloring in some but not not heavy not heavy just kind of almost making a sky behind it sort of but having you know i'm not liking this color I'm not liking it i ain't liking it mm -mm. let's try this one i think i might like this one a little bit better yeah i like that one better so see it's lighter than what i did the hash you know, the cross hatching is lighter. So you still see the cross hatching, but putting the color behind it is just kind of makes it fun. 
Now that, um, Linda didn't do that, but I did. Because I got to be different, because I'm just a different kind of person. So I am different. And so that's it, right there. That is what it is. It is what it is. I made the, um, and you could color the, the leaves completely in. You could color them all the way in if you so chose to. And, um, but here I colored them in a little bit more than I did here. And, but I like that. I like that look. I think that is very, very pretty. And, um, it would be a good for a fill in, a, a very good fill in. And, um, look, I want to show you a card I got from Lise. I got this from Lise, and it says, Happy Thanksgiving. But when I look at this cornucopia and all of the fruits in there, fruits and vegetables in there, I almost see a tangle there. See how you could just tangle the whole thing? And it's beautiful. And then when I look at the outside... I can see even the outside, how that looks like a tangle. Like you could, you could tangle yourself a cornucopia and, and just fill in. I think that is so pretty. This is my only Thanksgiving cup so far. Anyway, maybe somebody else will send me one. But this one was from Lise. So I'm happy to have a happy Thanksgiving card. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much, Lise. Okay, so now that's, that's that. I'm going to go in there and play with my phone a little bit more because I've made some more vid and some more quilt squares that I want to show. Because that's what I was trying to do was like a show and tell. And, um... But I was wanting to do like a little show and tell. And but my phone said I didn't have enough space. I thought we thought I had plenty of space because I'm pretty spacey. Okay, I am centered in truth and in peace. Search your heart for feelings of injustice and unfairness that you feel have been inflected upon you at work and let them go, you are free. I affirm the following, no matter where I am, there is only spirit, God, infinite good, infinite wisdom, infinite harmony and love. It cannot be otherwise. There is no duality, therefore, Right here and right now in my workplace, I declare and affirm that there is only infinite harmony, wisdom, and love. There are no problems that do not have solutions. There are no questions without answers. I now choose to go beyond the problems and seek the divine right action solution to any discord that may seem to appear in the true harmonious atmosphere of this business. I am willing to learn and grow from this seeming discord and confusion. I release all blame and turn within to seek the truth. I am also willing to release whatever pattern in our consciousness that has contributed to this situation. I choose to know the truth, and the truth sets me free. Divine wisdom, divine harmony, and divine love reign supreme within me and around me and around each and every person in this office. This business is God's business, and God is now directing, leading, and guiding all of our movements. I declare for myself and for each and every person in this business peace security, harmony, and a deep sense of love for the self and the self and the joyous willingness to love others. We are all centered in truth and live in joy. As I was reading this, I was thinking about, you know, a lot of us don't work. There is, we don't go to the office every day, but we go, we are 
we are one through the day. We get up, everybody gets up, everybody gets dressed and ready for the day, everybody. And, and you know, and we are living in a world of disharmony right now because of the COVID. And a lot of people are really saddened by these things. But you know, it says there are no problems that do not have solutions. Well, we in ourselves probably don't have the solution for the problem, but because the problem takes a hold of our family and our loved ones, there is solutions in that small, that small bit of people right there. There are solutions to make um, things not quite as disruptive as they seem to be if that makes any sense but so they here it's called harmony at work but um your work can be your life your life your lifelong work it's is what it is it's it's just what it is and so that's it that's Oh, oh, I just turned my camera up there, right there, so I could see you. Oh, y'all looking really, really good. Y'all are really looking good. Everybody's got their hair combed and everything. Okay, now y'all behave yourselves, and may God watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the very next video. Now I'm going to go see what I can do with that phone. Okay, God bless you. I love these people so much.